Welcome to Sandwiches of History, again from uh, New Orleans. Uh, today we're going to be making something from Gastro Obscura's new book, A Food Adventurer's Guide. It's the Fool's Gold Sandwich, and some of you wrote in to say, hey, why don't you make this? And I've resisted making it because it's huge. But it's game day here in New Orleans, so we're going to watch the Saints win. And I figured, you know, we've got people coming over, they can help me finish this. Uh, first of all, Gastro Obscura, you should go subscribe to their email newsletter. I do, I love it. Full of information, history, trivia about food from around the world. It's really cool. And the book is really cool too, as well. Uh, I'll be chatting with the authors of the book on October 19th. The link is in my bio. If you Fool's Gold. Well, it's a, apparently it was something that Elvis really loved. He had it once and he decided one time to go back and get it again. So he took his private jet and his entire crew to Denver, sat on the plane in the hangar at the airport, ordered 20 of these bad boys, had them brought to the plane where they proceeded to eat them, and then flew home. Man, it was decadent. Okay, to make the Fool's Gold sandwich, we take a loaf of French bread and cut it lengthwise. Then we uh, take out bread from the interior of both halves. And then in one half, we fill it with peanut butter. Now the original recipe said to use a jar of peanut butter. I don't know what size jar they had. I don't know what size loaf they had, but in the other half, blueberry jam. And I know what you're thinking. Hey, this sounds pretty tasty. That Elvis guy might be onto something. And then we fill it up with a pound of bacon. That's right. This is where the Elvis comes in. <laughs> then we uh, flip it over and cut it into slices. Okay, let's give this fool's gold sandwich a go. It's not bad. And peanut butter and bacon work really well together. Blueberry jams, nice little sweetness to it. I don't know that I would fly my private jet to Denver just to get this. <laughs> Seems like it's pretty easy to remake. Uh, and I'm gonna plus it up just a little bit. I'm gonna put a little chili powder on it. Chipotle would work well too. But I think this is gonna be nice. Okay, let's give this plussed up fool's gold sandwich a go. So I like that. You get the chili powder, a little bit of heat. Works really well with the blueberry. A little bit of sweetness from the blueberry skull, obviously, but bacon, peanut butter, chili powder, that's good. I would fly my private jet to Denver for that. Let's see what other people think of it. Haven't. Time for the plussed up version. Okay. Better. Yeah? Definitely. Amazingly consistent with every childhood fantasy I've ever had. <laughs> All right, the hot stuff now. Yeah. Right? Man, that's fantastic. It's really good. Diving into this thing. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. All right, chili powder. Here we go. Yeah. That is so good. <laughs> I just broke all of my damn dietary rules. Yeah, I'm gonna give the um, Fool's Gold, I'm gonna give it a six. It was pretty good. You know, not bad. The plussed up one with just chili powder just takes it to a whole new level. I'm gonna give that an eight, eight and a half. Till next time. Oh.